Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Gems of Knowledge. So in today's video, we will learn about the chapter circles of class 9th. Okay, so before starting my video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell button to get the notification as soon as I post my new videos. So without any delay, we'll quickly start with our video. So in the introduction part, you need to study few definitions of the circle which are as follows. So first one is you need to know what is circle. So basically, you know, you all know what is circle. It is a plane figure. Okay, circle is nothing but a plane figure. Okay, the collection of all points in a plane which are at a fixed distance from a fixed point in a plane. So, collection of all the points in a plane. So, it is the collection of all the points. Okay, if you collect all the points and join all those dotted lines, you may get a circle over there. Collection of all points in a plane which are at fixed distance from a fixed point. So, this the center point this is the center point and all the other points are at fixed distance from this point. So then only you can say that this if you join all those points you may get a circle. Okay that is what circle is. Parts of a circle. Now this circle is having three parts. Okay you can see here one is interior Okay, interior means inside the circle. You can see here inside the circle. Second one is exterior which is also known as outside the circle and the circle. Circle is having three points, uh, three parts, sorry. One is the circle itself and interior of the circle and exterior of the circle. Okay, third one is circular region. The circle and its interior make up the circular region. So, what is circular region? This circle and its interior part, all those things together is known as circular region. Okay, then comes the diameter. The cord which passes through the center of the circle is known as diameter. So, basically we know what is diameter. If this is a circle, suppose... Okay, then the line which is passing through this center, this center point is known as diameter. Okay, all diameter have the same length. So, whatever diameter it is, if this is the diameter or this is the diameter, this is the diameter, whatever it is, it will be having the same length of the circle, which is equal to 2 times the radius. So, what is radius? Radius is nothing but the center point and this center point joining any point on the outer part of the circle on the circumference of the circle is known as radius this is this line is nothing but known as radius okay so two times the radius means this is one time and this is second time okay two times the radius is nothing but our diameter okay then comes radius i have already told you what is radius the line segment joining the center and any point on the circle from center the line which joins any point from center point to any point on the circle that particular line segment is known as radius okay next comes arc a piece of a circle between two points is an arc see these are the two points the example they have given these are the two points p and q so the piece of the circle you can see this is one piece and this is another piece okay piece of a circle between the two points is known as arc. So, this part is one arc and this part is also an arc. So, this two pieces of arc, there are two pieces. Okay, One will be major and one will be minor. If it is having smaller distance, it is known as minor arc. If it is having major distance, then it is called as major arc. More distance, major. Less distance, minor. Okay, Then, Circumference. Circumference is nothing but the outer line of the circle. Means the complete length of the circle is known as circumference. Okay. Total from P to this from this point P to again P. So that particular whole part is nothing but called as circumference. Next is semicircle. You all know what is semicircle. Half of the circle is known as semicircle. When both major and minor arc are equal, when this both are equal, not one small and one big, both are equal, then the region formed is known as semicircle. You know what is semicircle? Half of the circle. You can see this is a semicircle. This part, as you can see, this part is semicircle. Even upper part or even the below part. Both parts are in the semicircular regions. Okay. So next you can see segment they have given. Okay. The region between a chord and either of its arc. 
this is a chord pq is a chord okay suppose this is the center point of the circle okay this is the center point of the circle the line which is passing to from the two points on the circle okay that is called as chord of a circle it can also pass from the center of the circle then it is known as diameter okay and we also know that diameter is the biggest chord of the circle okay so here two segments are there one is major segment and another is minor segment two two segments as you can see the figure minor part is the um, the smallest part is known as minor segment and the major part is known as major segment similarly sector sector you just see the difference between the sector and this segment okay the sector looks like this the half part or uh, one piece of the pizza as you can see okay that part is nothing but called as sector this is segment okay so the region between an arc and two radii okay you can see this is one radius this is one radius okay and this is an arc so the region between the arc and two radius is nothing but called the sector there are two sectors one is major sector and one more is minor sector okay so depending on this we are going to solve with the exercise 2.1 so in the exercise the question is given as first one the center of the circle lies in dash of the center so where you can find the center of the circle either exterior or interior obviously inside the circle we get the uh, we get the center of the circle so the answer is interior of the circle okay a point whose distance from the center of the circle is greater than its radius lies in the dash of the circle okay a point whose distance from the center of the circle now let me draw a circle okay okay a point we don't know where the point is whose distance distance from the center of the circle is greater than its radius now suppose this is the center point and the point where it is it is having this is radius okay but they have told us that it is greater than the radius distance is greater than the radius means the point is somewhere here now we should tell that where this point lies whether it is inside the circle outside the circle or on the circle so here two options are given exterior or interior okay i hope you understood the question this is a point p whose distance from the center of the circle okay this is center of the circle its distance from the center of the circle is greater than the radius this is radius this is radius but the distance is greater than the radius so that particular point p lies in exterior of the circle or interior of the circle obviously you can see it is outside of the circle so we will take it as exterior of the circle the longest chord of a circle is dash of the circle i have told you longest chord of the circle is nothing but diameter okay next an arc is a dash when its end are the ends of the diameter okay an arc is a dash when arc is dash when its ends are ends of the diameter so the arc is dash when its ends are ends of the diameter so the arc is a semicircle okay when the arcs are ends of the diameter means the uh, circle is divided into exactly half so we can understand that circle is exactly half means here it is semicircle the segment of the circle is region between an arc and dash of the circle segment is between the arc and chord of a circle so you must write chord of a circle a circle divides the plane on which it lies into dash parts how many parts in three parts as we have learned interior exterior and the circle okay next moving to the second question write true or false and give reasons for your answer they have given okay so let me tell you whether it is true or false line segment joining the center to any point on the circle is called as radius of the circle yes center to any point on the circle is obviously called as radius so that is true a circle has only finite number of equal chords is it true circle has only finite number finite means only countable numbers like 1 to 10 1 to 15 1 to 20 only that many chords we are having no we are having infinite number of chords just let me show you an example suppose this is your circle 
okay just an example this is your circle and this is the center point okay so we may have chord here we may have chord here we may have chord here so there are lots of chord it may be not in one direction it may be in this direction also okay it may be in this direction also it may be in some other direction you can see in this direction in this direction so there are lots of chords so we can say a circle has only finite number of equal chords no a circle may have infinite number of chords also okay next question is if a circle is divided into three equal arcs okay just see this is a circle okay and it is divided into three different arc this is one arc this is second arc and this is third arc okay this points this is third arc suppose okay this is o p and q three different arcs okay if a circle is divided into three equal arc each is a major arc can you say that with this o is a major arc or this p is a major arc or this q is a major arc no if it is divided equally into three parts then we cannot say that it is major or it is minor i have told you already if it covers major area means the larger area then it is major arc and if it covers lesser area then it is minor arc okay so this answer is wrong okay false a chord of a circle which is twice as long as its radius is the diameter of the circle two times as the radius it is nothing but diameter only two times of the radius is nothing but diameter only okay sector is the region between the chord and its corresponding arc no sector what is sector sector is like this correct so sector is between the two radius and one arc but what they are asking us chord and its arc no it is actually the region between two radii and one arc okay last one is a circle is a plane figure is it true yes circle is obviously a plane figure it is not a 3d figure it is not a 2d figure it is just a plane figure okay i hope you have understood with the introduction part as well as the first exercise so i'll be back soon with the next exercise so till then stay tuned and stay connected don't forget to like say share don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you